the bond angle between the bees is 90 degrees so 180 degree over here the angles between the bees the angle between the bees and 90 degree over here the angle between the bees so this is it for serial isomerism in octahedral complexes now let's move on to tetrahedral complexes okay so optical isomerism in tetrahedral complexes as i told you before um as I told you before, uh, we have opt we have op only op optical isomerism in tetrahedral complexes, and that also occurs when we have um, when we have a, a, a chiral central metal ion. So let's have X two plus, uh, and we have four different groups attached to it: A, B, C, and D. So A, B, C, and D are four different groups attached to our uh, central metal ion. And we make our optical isomers over here. So we have X. This is our tetrahedral structure. Um, and we have A attached here, B attached here, C and D. So this is a chiral, uh, this has a chiral center. Uh, let's make the charge first because it's a complex ion. Uh, this has a chiral center because the central metal ion is attached to four different groups four different groups so this is my mirror line and I make my other isomer X um, B a C and D two plus so these are our optical light isomers and uh, it only occurs when all four groups are different otherwise, otherwise it will exist as a single isomer so if we are two A's or two B's or two C's or two D's or any groups repeating then we would not have any optical isomer we would this would just exist as a single complex as an individual complex it would not have an isomer the only reason it has an isomer right now it's because the central metal ion is attached to four different groups okay so our last part of isomerism uh, geometrical isomerism in square planar complexes so uh, for this it is very simple we have an X two plus and we have a a. We own, we know that square planar uh, square, square planar complexes only exhibit uh, geometrical isomerism. Uh, we saw it there. So you have A, A, B, and B. The uh, adjacent, adjacent. So this will be the cis isomer. Then this will be my cis isomer. This is one, and my second one would be my trans isomer which you can figure out easily we have A now we bring a B over here we have a B we bring an A over here Okay, so we have A, A, B, B, 
the bond angles between both the a's is 90 degrees over here the bond angles between both the b's is a 9 is 90 degrees over here